I'm going to do a demo of how you can easily track form submissions as Google Analytics goals using Ninja Forms. So we've got kind of a basic site set up here. I'm just doing some Google Analytics tracking with the Google Analytics dashboard. You could track in any way, sort of embed code in the theme or what have you. We also have Ninja Forms enabled. And so what I'm going to do, what's going to allow me to do all this tracking, make things easy, is I'm going to use the Ninja Forms Intelligence add-on. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that. So I'm going to run over to Ninja Forms and finish setting up Intelligence. Intelligence is basically a framework um, for enabling you to do advanced things with Google Analytics. So you go ahead and install the plugin. Now the files are downloaded. I'll go ahead and activate it. And so the next step is I need to go ahead and set up a API key um, with intelligence and just go through and connect through. And so this is so intelligence can manage my account and create goals automatically and things along those lines. I'm going to go ahead and pick um, the current Google Analytics tracking uh, code I have on my website. Got this one running, and now it's going to create an enhanced Google Analytics property for me. Running through the configuration, um, helping, you know, basically doing things like allowing me to encode extra things onto uh, all my tracking, such as when a, um, when a form submitted, the ID of the form, which form was submitted, things like the number of fields that are submitted, and so forth. So it's configuring this enhanced Google Analytics property to do those things. Now the last thing I want to do back on our site is go ahead and set up a goal. And so by default, it's going to track, uh, it's going to track all the Ninja Forms as a form submission event, but we really want to track as some sort of goal. So I'm going to go ahead and create a goal. And intelligence allows me to add this goal in, intelligence allows me to add this goal inside of uh, WordPress. And so I'm going to just create a form submission goal. And so it created that over in Google Analytics and now I can select it. And so now all of my Ninja Forms will now trigger that goal form submission. Now let's go see it in action. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a Google Analytics report and switch over to our real time reporting. We go down to conversions. We now can see the form submission goal that we created. Now I'm going to go back, and one of the things that Intelligence is doing automatically is blocking the administrative uh, administrator role from going to Google Analytics. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new browser to do these test submissions. So this is another another person over here, and I'm going to run to our website. And so if I go to our contact page. I'm going to go ahead and put in my name, put in a test name. And now when I run over to our Google Analytics, we see that our form submission goal has now come through. And one of the things that's really nice is a lot of times when you're manually setting up form submission goals, uh, you do a redirect like we did here to contact response, but then if someone bookmarks this or leaves it open in a mobile browser, it gets refreshed, it creates a false positive. But the way intelligence works is even if I refresh this response page, I don't get a false positive. I just get only form submission events when a form is actually submitted. So we just saw it was our default goal happening. And what's nice about a default goal is that means every one of your forms is being tracked whether or not any custom settings are being done. And we can see what our, our default goal is here and change it using this button. But of course, what we're going to want to do a lot of times is set up custom goals for different types of forms. So if I go and look at my Ninja Forms, so I have a contact me, but maybe I want to do a different type of goal for my newsletter sign up. I can do that by just clicking in. And now I can just go into emails and actions where intelligence has added a new action for us and it allows me to select a goal. Now, if I look, of course, all I have is my form goals and a couple of the events. I want to add a new one. I can do that by clicking on my add goal. And I'm going to create one called newsletter sign up. 
and I might want to put a different value. Um, by default, we're tracking 100 points for each one, but maybe for newsletter signups, um, that's important, but not as important, so I'll just put 50. Run back to my action, I'll add my action back in. And we now see that our newsletter signups available. I'll go ahead and add that. If I had different newsletters, I could actually change value based on um, each individual form, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it, click done, publish. And now I'm gonna go ahead and submit my form. So I'm gonna run back over to our demo page here, run to the home where my form is, and our newsletter signups right here. So again, I'll just do Abe, Click Submit. And if we go back over to my Google Analytics, we see that I now have our newsletter signup goal has come through. The other thing that's kind of interesting about this particular uh, form submission is it didn't actually redirect to another page. It stayed on the same page. And so intelligence can handle both a redirect going to a new destination and when there's some sort of JavaScript message that's just posted back to the same page. Form submissions are one of the most valuable, but often tricky things to track in Google Analytics, particularly to do it accurately, where page refreshes and so forth don't cause false goals to be triggered. And intelligence is designed to make it easy, so there's no more excuses for not tracking your form submissions.